And welcome back to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending July 13th. That's right, Friday the 13th, 2012. Starting with the big announcements of the week, there's going to be a Dragon Ball Z film in March. An original Dragon Ball Z film. A new one. That's right. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. An actual new Dragon Ball Z movie. And Akira Toriyama will be involved. He said this is the first time he's been this deeply involved in the production of an anime, uh, in this case, um, so early in the uh, process of working on the screenplay. So that's pretty cool. He said the film will retain the atmosphere of the original while adding small amounts of modern flavor. So presumably there will be doe-eyed moe characters. I kid. Um, so yes, Dragon Ball Z movie coming out next March, which all I can say is at least it's not a new series. Um, no, that's fine. It's fine. It's, it's great. You know, it's great to see more of a classic, well-loved series coming out. Um, speaking of new anime, we have more information on the next anime by Kyoto Animation, uh, specifically, Chunibyo Demo Kui, uh, Koi Na Shitai. Tough one to pronounce. She has adolescent delusions, but I want to love her. That's a little creepy. Uh, uh, created by Torako, directed by Tatsuya Ishihara, who is a quite well-respected name in Kyoto Animation because he directed a little thing called Haruhi to the Mia. Uh, also worked on a variety of other uh, bits and pieces like Air and Clannad. He was the director of that. Uh, also worked on some little kind of Mofu. Um, uh, what else? Uh, Kim Gary Arms wrote actually about the Star, Nikki Joe, Tinky Universe actually uh, in various capacities. So. Very cool to see uh, someone with that, that sort of tread taking on the next uh, Kill Animation, uh, Kill Annie series, which looks to be basically a romance series. So that's cool. The the official image shows a girl with guns. So, <laughs> Meanwhile, jumping to manga news, J Manga, the site that's trying to do licensed manga online and doing so in a reasonable way, kind of bit, um, Anime News Network kind of buried the lead on this one. They, they announced, oh, well, they've added Sun Ken Rock and Dose Ai and the Pente Loki manga, and it will be releasing iOS and Android apps in October. <laughs> um, they will also be doing a manga translation battle, which is a, a contest supported by the Japanese government. The grand prize winner uh, receiving a trip to Japan one is up receiving an iPad plus other prizes. Basically, a a contest for folks to translate manga for J Manga. Pretty darn awesome. Uh, they also announced they'll be releasing several titles from Kodansha. There were previously Del Rey and Tokyo Pop licenses. So looks like they're rescuing some stuff. They said they didn't. They, you know, they can't announce which ones yet. That still hasn't been finalized. Uh, so yeah, J Manga is really pushing along forward. So we may actually get more legal manga. That's pretty awesome. Meanwhile, if you've ever wanted to live like Astro Boy, and you can get to Odaiba's Mirai Khan National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation, you can get to the exhibit called The Experience Manga Through Science Exhibit, Dream Heroes Who Transcend Time. I love that title. Well, basically, you can see um, demonstrations of voice recognition, facial image recognition, image processing technology, stop motion goggles, things like that, uh, and replicating the powers of various uh, anime and manga heroes like Doraemon, Astro Boy, Cyborg 009, Akotan, Kaibutsu Kun, things like that. I'm going to remove this because it keeps falling out. So that's pretty awesome that they're, they're using manga and anime characters to get spoken to in science, and it's a really cool thing. Uh, meanwhile, also in Japan, the 51st Japan Science Fiction Convention has announced its Seiyun Awards, which are but it's basically kind of like the Nebula Awards, but they're more like the, the, the Hugo Awards over here. And Madoka Magica has won in the anime uh, category, while Global Food Gundam, the Origin, has won in the manga category. So that's pretty darn awesome. Both Madoka Magica and Origin uh, ended last year. So congratulations to them for those wins. Also, when Formaki designer Naohiro Washio, who worked on Gundam 00, Fastener, and Bodacious Space Pirates, who won in the art category. Uh, also, Hideo Azuma of Disappearance Diary and Nanako SLS won in the nonfiction category, so it's good for them. In France, their Japan Expo was held this year, July 5th through 8th, and they attracted 165,000 unique attendees. Wow! That's a lot of attendees. That's like 
wow, I'm just uh, amazed. And by the way, unique attendees mean individual people as opposed to folks who attended and came back day after day. That's actual people who showed up. That's unbelievable. Finally, from Hatsune Miku news, as I mentioned a couple of days ago, uh, the virtual um, idol Hatsune Miku will be holding a mini concert at the Tokyo Joypolis Amusement Park this summer. So through August, if you want to go to the Tokyo Joypolis Amusement Park, you can check out these concerts held twice a day, 15 minutes long each, where they'll be playing Weekender Girl, Odds and Ends, and Time Machine, one at 3.09, odd time, and 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, plus, they'll, they'll have uh, stuff on hand to let you try out uh, Hatsune Miku games and things like that. And if you're that big of a Hatsune Miku fan, you might want to check out the uh, special, <laughs> this is hilarious, smartphone app, uh, an augmented reality app, all centered around Hatsune Miku. So, there's a recent CD compilation release uh, called Shibuya Pei, featuring Hatsune Miku which is a collection, a compilation of famous uh, 1990s Shibuya K songs um, covered using uh, Hatsune Miku uh, uh, software. And as a digital promotion, basically, if you have this application and you're in the Dogen Daka pedestrian crossing area, the that famous area where folks are, are crossing the street, you know, you see it in a lot of anime, um, uh, you basically hold up your phone and they will show Hatsune Miku, in this, Hatsune Miku as this giant image uh, standing next to a building, just like his on the on the, the album cover. There's this giant Hatsune Miku on it uh, in there. So if you have the app, you can actually see Hatsune Miku there uh, standing next to that, which is kind of weird, but hey, that's a way of promotion. So can't really complain about that. If you're interested in getting it, you can check it out for about the of US $30, which is about normal for a CD in Japan, unfortunately. So that's it for the news this week. Nothing too crazy this week, but that's it. More Dragon Ball Z. Wow.